CEO Ronnie from Creative Difference. I have the new Hammer Fugitive here. We're gonna take a take a peek at this bowling ball. We're gonna get this sticker off first. This is the uh, one of the new bowling balls that is made by Brunswick for the Hammer brand. Ball's polished. We'll see where it scans at. Probably yep, 5300 plus, which is what most polished balls end up being at. We're gonna wipe it off and see what it does. This is more of a more of a benchmark ball for them. So we're gonna see kind of how it rolls. Typical house pattern, more oil toward the center, less oil outside. That ball did pick up a little bit. Um, I could tell immediately just from that shot, it's smoother though, it's a smoother piece. So we'll see. I like the colors, that red and kind of a silver, white silver. Just move that a little bit here. So I'm keeping it in. I'll get one left um, and we'll see if that ball is going to pick up and come around the corner. That definitely, both those shots were in the oil. So that means it doesn't over push. That's a good sign. If it over pushes in the oil, that's gonna create a lot of over under reaction. That's not what you want, obviously. So now we'll get one left. That's left. And it came right back. Yeah, so I could tell you that it's, it's one of those pieces that it's still gonna pick up. And then when you get it in the oil, but when you get it to the friction, it kind of reads it, it just kind of reads it predictably. Not bad. We'll throw one more shot. Kind of a benchmark type piece. Good for a lot of different styles of player too. That should be 10 back. Uh, it's a little, just a little bit more aggressive. So, so maybe not such the bench, benchmark piece. Um, a little stronger than a benchmark piece. I expected that ball to really just kind of go through the pins really well. It went a little bit too aggressive. So that tells me a little bit more about this ball and the fact that maybe you want this bowling ball if you have a benchmark ball and you want to transition to the next piece. So this ball, this ball will allow you to get a little bit more aggressive than your standard benchmark ball. Let's do one more shot. Let's do one more shot. Come on, see that? See how it reacted? It, it popped off the spot, but then it was too late. So went down the lane, saw the friction, like I thought it would. I thought it was coming back, but it, it went too far down the lane before it made the move. So that's not what you want. So we're gonna blend it out. What that means is, so the, the oil is, there's a lot of oil tin inside, not a lot of oil tin outside. Because of what it's doing, that means I've gotta be kind of blending it out, smoothing it out. Don't get it too far out too quick because it wants to react and you get it too inside too much, it, the ball still picks up a little bit, which is kind of interesting. Split the difference, he should be okay. Like that. So now you have some more information about the Hammer Fugitive. If you need any more help, you have some questions, you can always join our staff. Check us out at ctdbowling.com. Ronnie Glenn, CEO from Creative Difference. Have a great day.